and welcome to Beck's Bug Out Survivor. Now, if you are new to this channel, Beck's Bug Out Survivor series always strives to find you something a little different, an alternative to the mainstream. So if you've come here thinking that you're going to see something very familiar to you, you're not going to find it here. And to be quite honest, you can stop the video here and just go watch somebody else who actually just copycat other people's ideas. So you're going to see something a little different. It's a technique I use to pack my bedroll and everything I want in it. So let me explain what's going on. A little while ago, we looked at the Snug Pack Response Waste Pack and I didn't show you its content and I didn't want to show you again the same old things you've seen a hundred times with other channels people getting the snug pack response pack and putting things like the cell phone in it maybe a small knife a compass I, I can pretty much reel off all the equipment that other people have put in these small waste packs and I find it kind of pointless moving from one video to the other just to see the same thing so you are going to see something different not only are you going to see something different the whole philosophy is different now you're either going to like this and give it a go and even if you give it a go and don't like it you can always revert back to type or you're not going to see the benefit of this and absolutely hate it and usually that's where you jump in the comment section and tell me all about that but um <laughs> yeah let's load up my response pack and show you the sleep system and i want to see well i know i can because it's already been done is going uh, totally free of the pack entirely and i need it to include my sleep system my water my food the cook system a knife medical first aid everything you would find in a pack but without the pack but this is what we looked at was the snug pack fast response pack now if you want a more detailed overview then i'll put you the link in the description box but it's pretty box standard little waste pack they're all much the same other than it's literage, which is why I like this. And you'll notice that mine has been put onto a shoulder harness, which is part and parcel of how everything is gonna tie in. I have my illumination on the shoulder, on the yoke, two water bottle pockets, which can house Nalgene, a Mora knife here, I need to put a medical pack on there and in here that is where the stove and the food is going so you can see it's not the usual sunglasses car keys uh, credit cards compass knife all the other things you've seen so it really will play a critical role in actually going bagless now I like this little system, it's better in warmer weather to be quite honest, the whole concept. But we are sort of coming into warmer weather, but not at the time of filming. At the time of filming, it's bloody cold. <laughs> so I wish I'd bought a nice pair of gloves because my bad hand is playing up. So we are gonna load this up. Now then, in my side pockets i should have things like the food and the stove and water i always like to carry one of these this is a hot drinks flask i use it instead of a beaker or a cup to drink from i can just make the required amount of hot drinks and it will stay hot like that for maybe three and a half four hours in this so I'm not making as many hot drinks. I'd sooner just sip on the drink rather than get the stove out every time I want to have a sip. So that saves a hell of a lot of water. These are British Army rations. I have an all day breakfast here. 
I also have that kind of breakfast which is oats so I might have the all day breakfast as an evening meal and for lunch I always have the pudding the dessert which is chocolate pudding and chocolate sauce very very fatty very filling and there you go that is part of the food I'm going to have that's a 24 hour supply from British Army ration pack I do separate the wet meals and you can see once you do that I've got just these here I will fill the actual response pack before I put it on but in the other pocket I have my cook system now again for you you're going to put whatever cook system you want in if you just want to use a little alcohol stove and a toke's pot and bring liquid fuel for you it goes without saying do it do whatever you want it's your kit in the same way this is my kit and my decision but I do love my jet boil because it is designed to heat ration pack food because I am not going freeze dried or dehydrated these two need to be together and this makes a fantastic coffee because I have a little coffee press in here and that's a separate little purchase for real coffee so I can have real coffee three hot meals a day and of course like I said goes without saying put your own type of food and system to cook it in your arrangement coming into the actual pack I should have things like some water I've gone for Nalgene just because they fit the pouches nice red easy to see and they fit onto the webbing yoke and I have two of them giving me two litres I just need to dig into the pack to get the other one out and we're almost ready to mount all this into that snug pack response pack and we'll come to the sleep system last a simple little medi pack mine is on a velcro and has a small beaner and that is going onto my webbing so I am using a webbing if this isn't your deal like I said use your own arrangement if you don't like the idea just put everything into stuff sacks and then put all your stuff sacks into your backpack put your backpack on and you're good to go but this is a backpack free system so now let's move the pack I'm ready to transfer these into the actual webbing and the webbing yoke now all it is it, this is the yoke it's a shoulder harness that goes over your shoulders obviously has a couple of pouches on for water the flask water again knife that side response pack there for stove and food so I'm just going to pop this on quickly and then take it back off then load it back up finally the sleep system The first part of the build is going to be for me to put my stove system in. This is why I chose an 8 litre response pack because I can put my stove into it. Like I said, you could probably save a bit of weight and room, at least room not weight. I don't buy into it that liquid is lighter than gas in anyone's book unless of course you're going to ration how many burns a day you are doing that's the only way 
you can have a lightweight cook system in all reality but I hate rationing how much I'm going to eat and how much I'm going to drink especially on a day like this which is freezing of course I'm going to want more than one hot drink and one hot meal a day that means the rest of the day I am having cold drinks bugger that but evidently that choice is yours I'm just telling you mine in the front panel here I have a utensil for eating could be anything you want and I've arranged the inner pouch here to actually contain all my hot drinks that I'll need so I have one two three four co uh, tea bags so they could be coffee bags if you want to go down that route behind here for my supper just before bed a nice hot chocolate and behind that I have a coffee now this is one of them three in ones I am not big on these three in ones they are disgusting tasteless I prefer a real coffee which I'll have to address the only thing I'm gonna put in here is some sweetener sweet tooth and I don't want to carry sugar so some of them little uh, sweeteners will do little tablet form I'll put the first aid medical on last that 24 hour ration pack will go into the front of that pouch and then in it goes and zip it up 24 hour wet food will fit in the front of the response from snug pack and obviously to prove a point you're not going to believe it till you see it i know so i'll just zip it all up so that's what have i got one two three four five six hot drinks three hot meals that's six that's nine burns so plenty of fuel to do nine boils if I need it but usually if I do a boil in the bag with every meal I do a drink and because it's boiling in the bag I've got water left over so uh, what did I say nine uh, take away three of them meals so six burns a day will give me all the hot drinks I need and everything like that as well as hot food and on a bitterly cold night I do want the ability to cook or boil water sorry boil water because if I boil the water in this it becomes a hot water bottle pop that down the foot end of my sleep system hug it up to my chest I've got a heated water system for the night now we had a look at these pouches on a different video and if I remember I'll put a link in not that you'll probably use it but it's there if you want and these Nalgene pouches obviously fit the Nalgene bottle that's what they're meant for so I have water right on my hip so if I do want to take a swig of water on a hot day I can alternatively I can use the hot drinks flask so let's pop another litre of water so kilo a litre I've got two kilos just in water here and nip that up there that said if I do want a hot drink and right next to the water I've got a net pouch here and again we put all this together on a different video and I told you it would pay dividend in the future episode and this is that future episode so everything is uh, decompartmentalized into these sections where I will show you my thinking in a different kind of video hot drink hot coffee hot chocolate hot tea on the day like that I don't want to be drinking cold water so in that goes right next to my water so I have two litres of water and I think that's about 300 mil or 260 mil I forget for the hot drink it's a thermos it'll stay hot 
three and a half, four hours in my experience. I just need somewhere for medical and first aid, which I'm not going to show you the content of this. I'm in the process of building it, but obviously there's going to be too many arguments on what you should and shouldn't have in there. So I might perhaps do a first aid on medical. Uh, perhaps I won't. And my first aid or medical pack is based on what a doctor would take who is also a tracker or well, how would I know that I found a guy a couple of guys on YouTube who was a doctor and he showed you what he put in his pack and I've replicated it but judging by other people's videos hikers trekkers backpackers will pack very differently to other people and you'll get arguments that you need this you need that you need the other for a tracker you, you tend to just put the basics in remember you, you're never far away from a medical center uh, because you're on a trail as where if you're in the wilderness perhaps you would need a more substantial first aid pack than that so it's medical and first aid um, maybe I'll show you one day, maybe I won't, I really don't know and to be quite honest, don't care. But this is my Mora knife as well. Now everything's been colour coded. Now I haven't got a striker with this yet, or a sharpening system. Now I did, did used to have the carbon steel version, but I've got this little companion. It's just easier for me to sharpen. So I have a space here on the molly left over to put... Um, a striker and a sharpening stone maybe a bit of leather on the other side I have left a space for my medical provision again it's in red if you want to go green go green and I'm just going to molly this on to the webbing so the whole rig who is it for what is it for I've got 24 hours of food so I'm going to say it's a 24 hour little system so 24 hour bushcrafty wild camping minimalist lightweight oh jesus scared the hell out of me email yeah kind of bushcrafty rather than survival and of course i do have a carabiner on my medical and first aid so it doesn't fall off just uh, relying on velcro and again you choose whether you want a trauma pack a first aid pack or first aid medical and build it up however the hell you want mine is based on a doctor's first aid pack who was a tracker finally obviously the sleep system because I did say it was going to be bagless This is a really great pack. It's one of my favourites. It's a Berghaus. It's the Crusader Cyclops. It's a vintage. Carries amazingly well. Amazingly well. It's one of the best Bergens, obviously, in my opinion, of someone who reviews a lot of Bergens. And because it's my opinion, I'm not saying it's factual that it's better than any other Bergen. I'm saying it's a personal preference. Now, your personal preference is going to be different to mine. Mine's going to be different to yours. Because I do hear a lot of people saying my pack is better than yours. Well, better in what way? Lighter, more comfortable, cheaper. In fact... A lot of other Bergens that other people prefer will be more expensive, heavier and not as comfortable. So I don't know in what respect they mean better. But we'll each to their own is what I'm saying. In here is, is my sleep system. So I am going for a bivvy approach, which means I need a bivvy bag, a pad to sleep on and a shelter which can be in the form of a basher or something like that now mine is on a cowboy swag roll and it fits into my pack but i've already rolled it so as soon as i take this out we no longer 
need the pack because everything is on webbing. So this is my cowboy bedroll on a shoulder sling. This is the Gore-Tex bivvy. Inside is my sleeping bag. Inside the sleeping bag is my sleeping pad. And then inside my sleeping bag, I can also put change of socks, fresh underwear, and maybe a nice warm jumper to put on when I get to camp. Other side, I have the cordage and the pegs. And this here in DPM is my waterproof poncho, which not only waterproofs me on a trek, but also forms my pyramid shelter. Now, I'll put another link in the description to how to build the Dutch Army pyramid shelter from this poncho. And if you do want to replicate this idea, you can do it to its entirety. Now, I was very lucky I bought this poncho on a car boot for about either £3 or, or £5 UK sterling. So it's very, very little money. And when I got home after, you know, a purchase this, I did go on, say, eBay, one of them sites, and they're about 25, 30 quid. So that was one hell of a good find for about three quid, was a mint condition Dutch army poncho. Shoulder sling, and it's a simple case of it all goes around my shoulder and somebody once said well if that is how you are carrying your system which is amazingly light because I don't even have the 2.3 kilos on the bag anymore which this otherwise would be in but somebody did say well that's all well and good but how are you going to carry your food and your stove and your water because people get very very arsy and think they know it all without actually waiting to see when I said there is an upcoming video and I'll show you how but instead they'd rather give it that I'm going to put on the webbing which also remember includes now the water the hot drinks the stove the food and illumination on the shoulder here I do have a couple of side pockets here which are, I think are currently empty so I could put a fire making kit, my ablutions kit, you know, toothpaste and things like that. So let me just pop my illumination in there. It usually goes on the shoulder, but I haven't secured it on yet. Pros and cons. For me, there's no cons. I love it. I love the whole concept. The only con is that we seem to be living in this society where everyone gets pigeonholed into a one-size-fits-all world uh, logic and it's a flawed logic I don't see why everyone has to be the same and you probably notice by now this channel is not the same either it's very different I don't like replicating other people's videos and ideas let me give you a brief insight to YouTube It'll, YouTube algorithm will pass a lot of information through certain videos that are doing really well and they'll put a lot of advertising through that, that a successful video now these successful videos are then replicated by other youtubers almost word for word in its entirety the whole idea is replicated because they want a slice of that advertising pie in case you're going to get advertising revenue advertising revenue on a channel like this is minimal it's about 30 pence not 30 pounds unfortunately all you're going to see is the same idea replicated over and over again to me it is like reading the same page of the book or have it narrated to you by somebody else so somebody reads the first page of the book another narrator comes along and reads the same page another narrator comes along reads the same page another narrator comes along reads the same page and I got so bored of that idea with YouTube that I thought I'm gonna do a channel 
that actually turns the bloody page and let's see where the story goes. Now I know not everyone wants to turn that page because the idea is alien to them and therefore it must be wrong if you're seeing something new. For me I think that's a flawed concept. I think you should want to turn the page on a book and see where the story goes. And sure, that page might not be your favourite page of the book. How can it be? But it doesn't mean that the end goal or the narration of the story won't continue. At least if this isn't an idea for you, it could be an idea for someone. So don't assume that I just make videos for the person in there watching. There are gonna be other people on the channel who will take this idea and at least try it. And once they've tried it, they may never go back to a pack ever again now will i ever go back to a pack ever again of course i will I, I love this pack but if i can drop 2.3 kilos on a comfortable setup like this and by the way it is comfortable i'm all in i just need to put a toothbrush in here for my wash kit i have illumination i need to add a fire steel and upgrade my first aid so there are jobs i'm going to do to this you can also make it a whole lot lighter by choosing less fuel and a different cook system and maybe just one water bottle i'm going to leave it up to you because remember you have got the back of this free as well for a camel back if bottles aren't your thing you can develop this as much as you want as little as you want you can take the idea and like it you can take the idea never use it you can take the idea use it and like it there are so many variables now at this point i do want to absolutely thank everyone who's joined for this video but more than that thanks for everyone who has donated through the thanks button icon which you'll find under this video where you can donate to the channel uh, there's been some very generous donations even from people across the pond there in the united states and from canada all the way to britain uh, people have been donating to the channel a lot and that is it gives me the kick to want to carry on doing this channel otherwise i think i'd have quit a long time ago okay because everything on this channel is pre-recorded i can't name every individual unfortunately but do know that it is so greatly appreciated like i said i'd have given up doing youtube months ago because i'm kind of up to here with it right now and it's only that that spurs me on that people do want to watch and donate because this channel does not you know i don't make a living through this uh, but this channel does not run itself i don't advertise i don't accept um kit for review i don't believe in that i don't think you'll ever get an honest review so i do buy my own kit and i'm very honest about the kit that I buy because I've got nothing to lose if I like it or don't like it. But it's only your help that has spurred me on to continue. So a massive, and I mean a massive thank you for everyone who's donated and the subscribers as well is going up on a monthly basis. And I don't try and hit targets like how many views I have or you know whatever it is or how many subscribers to me that's like facebook friends 
I don't believe in that either because on my personal Facebook if you have been accepted as a friend I'll invariably have your number in my phone so if I've never met a person ever in my life I don't see the benefit of adding them as a friend you know they're not friends are they friends come and dig you out of a ditch when you've crashed your car will put you up on the sofa when you've been kicked out so now you know where I'm coming from when I'm saying a massive thank you to just total strangers who feel so committed and now my commitment perhaps is coming back to want to carry on this channel so until next time thanks for joining me and thanks for your patience on this because i know it's not easy for a lot of people to comprehend a different idea so until next time take care of yourself and i will see you out there happy trails Thank you.